wherever I have reached today, it is because of only entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is something, in my view, which is always able to take challenges, risks, and give you success. Not being educated doesn't mean mm -hmm. that I don't face professionals. Today, we have uh, employed people of over 125,000 people. We have, in 48 countries, our businesses with a reach in 100 countries. So I have to deal with all the professionals in the group, along with my brothers, in an entrepreneur way. Entrepreneurship has to be in your blood, has it to be in your DNA. And I really learned entrepreneurship from my father. After the World War, or during the World War, when it was announced, he used to be a textile merchant. He had many commitments with the mills. So naturally, all the business people announced I think it's this, yes. uh, force major. So my father's team told him that let's also announce. He didn't agree with his professionals. And he said, no, I have made a commitment. I will honor it. Where there is supply, somewhere else there has to be demand. So he was the first Indian to go on the wooden barges to Iran with the textile business. And he had to face a Jewish cartel. And they didn't want him to enter the market because they were worried that he will be selling goods at lesser profit and they were making over 300%. He went through the struggle and with the struggle, the entrepreneurship helped him. Similarly, in my case, with all difficulties and problems, I learned entrepreneurship. I had entrepreneurship in me and with difficulties, you automatically also at times get entrepreneurship to make impossible do possible. We have been struggling continuously in last five years to see how our each and every company is updated with all technologies. We have started an independent wing for investing into startup companies of technologies. We have now gone into cybersecurity. We have gone into things which could, we could have never dreamt 20 years back. And continuously, even last week, we had with all our executives of the different companies, a conference call to see what each and every company is doing in advancing technology, whether it is in automotive, whether it is in healthcare, whether it is in banking, whether it is in uh, hospitality business or real estate. Even in real estate uh, construction and everything, I think the new technologies really help us in designing and trying to help us how we can use it for the maximum capacity. So this is a continuous process. There has to be a determination to keep on updating oneself and upgrading yourself is the only solution. Otherwise, you will be left back and you will be out from where you are today. For last 55 years, I have had experience with me for dealing with presidents, prime ministers, 
of different countries of the world. And I have been watching their ups and downs and everything. In my view, the best way for them is to be involved only in governance and to create right environment and get away from the business. <laughs> Don't interfere with the businessman. They can lay down policies, but not the policies with lacunas. There should be a clear-cut policy so that the businessman knows what he has to do, how he has to progress, how he has to help the economy of the country and give growth. Unfortunately, we find these types of leaders very rare today in the world. So we have to really work hard to ensure that wherever the governments are there, they should be only involved in governance and in creating good policies and not to have any interference in businesses. My advice will be very simple from my experiences. To do hard work, have a determination to achieve their goals, what they want, should have in their dictionary no word of impossible, because next to impossible is only possible, whether it is in technology, innovation, and whatever they like to do, if at all they are not successful, the setback, they should take it as a stepping stone to rise further. But the determination has to be strong. And with struggling, entrepreneurship keeps on growing. And entrepreneurship takes to success. And success is what gives you joy, happiness, and a good living.